Hey, John Morris here again with HowToMakeMyWebsite.com and in this video we're going to talk about the overall concept of how forms uh, work using PHP. So uh, before we dive into kind of all the code I just want to kind of give you a broad overview uh, and a broad perspective of how forms work uh, and how we're going to use them uh, in our applications. So as you can see here I've kind of drew, drew a little diagram here with my fancy uh, drawing skills and uh, so we're just going to talk about this a little bit so the first thing we're going to notice here is that we have a form and you notice we have our little input boxes like we saw in the last video and then over here we have what we'll call our display and ultimately what we're doing uh, with forms is we're taking uh, information that is input into a form here and then somehow some way we want to display it over here now yes there are times when you may have that data stored in a database and you want to like you maybe just want to download it to uh, a spreadsheet or something like that uh, and really the most of what we're going to talk about still applies in that situation but typically when you're talking about the internet uh, ultimately you're going to display that data at some point on a web page and so uh, we have to get from uh, right here, which is kind of step one, to over here, which is step four. Okay, and so there's a couple tools that we use to do that. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is uh, a database, and specifically uh, we'll talk about MySQL because that's what we're going to use with PHP. And so a database, really all a database is, is uh, a place to store information. Uh, the best way to think about it is think of it as a big spreadsheet and we're gonna I'm gonna actually take you inside a database here in a second and look at it and you'll see that but uh, it's really just a big spreadsheet that you can store information into okay but the problem is is that HTML which is what your forms are written in doesn't by itself isn't able to talk to MySQL or MySQL so you need something in between to communicate with MySQL and store that data. Uh, and this is where PHP comes in. PHP is a server-side scripting language that can interact with MySQL. So it knows, um, it speaks both HTML and MySQL and can interact. And so essentially what you end up with is you end up with a basic HTML form, which is easy to do, you're going to see that as we go through here um, and that the data that gets entered in that form is processed by PHP and there's lots of things that you can do with it you don't necessarily have to store it in a database but nine times out of ten that's what you're going to be doing uh, so it gets processed by PHP and ultimately stored uh, into this database and then again we use PHP over here to retrieve data from the database and display it okay so PHP is really kind of the intermediary between all these different technologies it's kind of what allows everything to happen now PHP isn't the only uh, language that does this ASP uh, is another language that that can do that um, so but in this case we're going to be talking about PHP um, it's open source it's one of the more popular ones um, and it's what I know so <laughs> um, so this is really kind of the the overall concept is we take data from an HTML HTML form we process it using PHP and ultimately store it into a database then we use PHP to c retrieve that information from the database and store it back on a web page uh, and so we kind of have a circular loop and if, if we go back over here to like say Facebook especially you'll see that that's actually taking here's here's where we enter the information and what happens when we hit this is it gets processed stored in a database and then retrieved and and, and displayed right here so you can actually see the full thing taking place right here on Facebook this entire process so that's what you're going to learn how to do and once you understand kind of the core basics of it then you're going to be able to just really run wild with with the kind of forms 
uh, that you create and, and the cool things that you can create with your sites uh, using this technology. So what I want to do now is I want to actually take you inside a database and kind of show you what it looks like so you can see that you know it's not big, bad, and scary. It's really just a big uh, uh, spreadsheet. So I'm going to jump over there and we'll take a look. All right, so here we are inside PHP Admin, which is one of the most popular ways, if not the most popular way, for uh, looking at a MySQL database um, using a graphical interface. So um, over here on the side, you can see this is a list of all the different uh, databases that I've created. And this is actually just on my local server here using XAMPP. So um, if we go to this one here called Forms1, then you can see inside of, of this database we have what are called tables. So this forms one here um, is the, the database and then this down here is the table inside of that database. And so if we go to say this WordPress one, which is a database, you notice we have a bunch of different tables over here. Okay, so each database has a collection of tables inside of it. And then um, inside each table then we can have what are our, our columns and rows um, or fields and values so these things going across the top are columns and then of course these going down are rows and this is where our information is actually stored and so the the analogy that I like to use is that, like I said it's just like a big spreadsheet so if I bring a spreadsheet over here you can see that um, the way to look at this is this file, like if I were to save this file as something, uh, say, you know, database.php, this file is like each one of these databases uh, that I have here. And so each one of these databases in here is like a file when you're using, say, Excel or OpenOffice or whatever. So, and then inside each one of these um, databases, or just like inside of this, this spreadsheet here, you have sheets, right? In each sheet, you can, can put in a completely different set of data. Same thing with tables. Tables are like these sheets, okay? And you can put completely different data inside each one. And then once you're inside each table, or in this case, each sheet, then you have rows or you have columns and you have rows and it's inside here that you store your information so this gives you a very structured way of storing information so that if you want a certain set of information you can tell uh, PHP to retrieve the information that's in this database in this table at this cross-section so you know C7 you know, and you can tell PHP to pull that specific information. Now, it doesn't work exactly. I mean, that's not exactly the code you use, but a basic idea. That's exactly how it works. And so, again, it gives you a very structured way of storing information. And so, really, that's all that a database is. And if we come over here, you can see that I've created a, a really basic form. And we're going to go ahead and fill this out. Right. Oops. And if we hit submit, then PHP is going to process that and it's going to store it into our database. And if we come back over here to our database and we refresh, you can see that now that information that we just added is stored in here. And you can see it references our form. So we have input one, input two, input three, and four, five, six. Of course, we have input one, two, three, four, five, six, and it corresponds to the information that we entered. So now, if we want to get that information, we can tell PHP to find the the information in you know the forms one database under form two table, and we want input one for record one. And and now we can see that that's this we this this value of we. And so again, it's just a really, really simple yet structured way of storing information and doing it on the web. So um, that's that's really all that we're doing here is we're storing this information in, and then at some point we're going to pull it back out. So 
again, going back to our broad overview, that was the database. Uh, we're, I'm going to show you how to create the forms, which is really easy. The forms are actually really easy. The most of the work is going to be done in the PHP that processes the form. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create the form, create the PHP that up stores that information into the database. Also going to show you uh, a little bit about retrieving information from the database and the PHP you'll need and how to make that display in a website page, which actually this part of it is actually pretty easy too. The bulk of what you're going to do with forms is right here, writing this PHP that processes and stores uh, the data into MySQL. So uh, that's what the remainder of the course is going to be about. In the next video, I'm going to take you into the actual code. I'm going to show you how to create a basic form, um, kind of get the nuts and bolts down so you have a good grasp of how it works. And then we're going to move into a more advanced form, uh, talk about some security, and talk about some displaying data and you'll be a forms master here uh, before too long. So uh, hopefully enjoy the video, leave your comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video.